Hello guys, welcome to Filament Daily. In this video, I will show you two Filament plugins for two-factor authentication. If you go to the official repository of Filament plugins and enter factor in the search, you have this list. And I decided to show one more popular plugin and one less popular. So two-factor authentication by Steven Jude and then very popular Breezy by Jeff Greco. And they work in a similar way, but let me demonstrate in the code and how they work. So let's start with Breezy. What it does is, in addition to dashboard, this is a fresh filament project without any resources. But if you click on the profile, in addition to personal information, you have this on the bottom. And I already see that I need to move my face to the top right corner of the video so you would see this part. So you click enable, then you type in your password as a user, confirm, and then you have this QR code with the codes to recover access. I will not demonstrate that with the app because it's pretty hard to shoot on the screen. You can try it yourself. In the database, it creates a database table called Breezy Sessions with two-factor fields. And to enable that in Breezy, you do not have to implement all the Breezy because it's pretty long documentation. So I will show you exactly what you need to know that part for two-factor authentication if you don't need any other functionality from Breezy. So I asked my colleague Narius to create that for me for this demo, and this is the GitHub changes. So of course, Compose will require the plugin, then add this trait to your user model, then in admin panel provider, enable the plugin with the profile and enable two-factor authentication with the parameter whether you want to force two-factor authentication for everyone or not, default false, then compose require this one and migration for breezy sessions. And that's it. So with this, you don't use any other functionalities by Breeze. You may check them out and enable them as well, but just for two-factor authentication, this is enough. Now let's take a look at another plugin, which is two-factor authentication, which is specifically for two-factor. It's not a profile page like Filament Breezy, which works like this. So you have the same dashboard, but instead of a separate profile page, you have separate 2FA settings page, which looks like this. So I enable, again, prompting for password, and then you have QR code with setup key to finish the authentication. In the database, it has a different structure, so there's no separate table for Breezy sessions like it was for Breezy. In the users table, you have a few new columns, which is two-factor secret, two-factor recovery codes, and two-factor confirmed at. And in the code, enabling that plugin is also pretty easy. So again, a few traits to the user model, enabling plugin, just different syntax for different methods, but also there is a way to enforce or not enforce to factor setup, composer, JSON, and migration. So nothing really much different, it's just kind of different wording for the same functionality. What do you think? Which of those plugins would you use and recommend? Or maybe you have used them and let me know in the comments what is your opinion or you have other ways or plugins or tools for two-factor authentication. Let's discuss in the comments below. And if you want more filament examples, currently we have 73 examples on our filamentexamples.com. I will quickly browse through them and you may find very different examples, small and big, of filament. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.